Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode and possibly the last episode of Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar. All right, from the last episode, we skipped ahead to summer 8th, which is the due date of our baby between Milan and Lloyd. And I'm guessing this is Claire. <laughs> Because someone came to get clear. Hopefully Lloyd. Hopefully I didn't run over while in labor. The baby's coming. I'll be right there. Oh, hurry. This. <laughs> I think we married Emiko. Emiko would just deal with this on her own. Because I guess no one can know Emiko exists. You wait here. We'll handle it. Oh, husband stays out of it. Has to anxiously, anxiously stand there. <sighs> I can't sit still. I hope Mal is okay. Almost there. Just a bit more. Come on. Alright, I'm done. Oh, the baby's here. It's crying. All right, no complications. If there were, it would be a problem because there's no doctor in this game. Just midwives. There it is, our little nugget. You've got a healthy little baby. Is it a boy or a girl? So it's a coin toss. So if you just save the night prior, um, you can uh, you can manipulate if your child's a boy or a girl. This does that work in real life? Um, it's at least. At least it's nice, though, in case you aren't a boy or a girl. Because uh, other Harvest Moon games, sometimes it's a, little, it's a little trickier. Either you have to, like, wish for it. Oh, well, that one's kind of nice, too, being able to wish for it. Um, <laughs> you, get to, you get to choose. Or or there's some meaner mechanics where, uh, like, the the baby's like gender is decided on, like, on the marriage day. Or, like, if your marriage is on an even or an odd day. Or... Like a few days prior, so if you accidentally saved, you're kind of locked in. Alright, but what did we get? It's a girl! Congratulations! Aww. I do I do like the girl child. So, I think I'll keep it. I'm sorry for the person who wanted a boy. Um, the boy child is nice though, too, because you get to... It does look like... It does look like the male protagonist, so you kind of see like a glimpse of how the opposite gender looks like uh, but the girl is really cute too got the, the cute little wavy hair so I think I'm gonna keep the girl I'm sorry <laughs> and I think like past me would probably want to keep the girl as well uh, yeah because back then I was like always upset that they only gave you they only made you play as a male protagonist and they only let you have like a male child until like later installments all right, what are we gonna name this little girl? <laughs> Our child. It's so tiny. It's like a little shriveled up potato in there. We need a name. What would be good? What do you think, Mal? Hmm. Okay, I get to choose. Sometimes, like some games, they they let the they let the your spouse like have a choice, and then you can be like, yeah or nah. So. You guys did pick some baby names. Uh, for some reason, one of the favorites was Leaf, and I actually like Leaf. It does remind me of of the Rune Factory Frontier baby I had. I I told I picked the name Leaf, uh, but since it's a girl, I'm gonna be super creative and call you Leafa <laughs> or Leifa. I, I, I it kind of just like looks like Le Leafa to me. So Leafa. So we'll call our child Leafa. Yeah, let's do it. No going backsies. I think that's a great. I think that's great. I like it. It also starts with an L, and your name also starts with an L. Hello, Leafa. You grow strong. Mommy and I will always be here for you. All right, and it just stays there. You can't. I don't think you can interact with it. Yeah, you can't can't really interact <laughs> with the child at all, unfortunately. There's no picking up, there's no showing off. Which is unfortunate. Although I wonder if some of the villagers might say something different. Hello, can you say something different? 
I just- I just gave birth to your child, Lloyd. Can you- Oh my god. You pro- you- You should say something different, but... <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Leafa starts with- with six hearts. Um, I was worried I was gonna have to start from the bottom. Uh, but yeah. One of the requirements for- for doing birthdays celebrations with you and your spouse uh, does require that family members be up to like 40,000 friendship points. I was a little bit worried that like in a year I wouldn't be even be able to like do our like first birthday with a toddler because yeah if it was at zero I don't think I could get that up in a month. Uh, but yeah she starts with six hearts. Then, yeah, we can't, unfortunately we can't get it any higher than that until she gets out of bed. And that's gonna take, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a real long time. So, from a year, it's a year and, t and 12 days uh, from the childbirth that uh, your child will start walking as a toddler. So, since a game year in this game is 124 days... You just go like 12 days from the birthday and then it'd be like summer 20th, I'm guessing that... Yeah, summer 20th of next year, <laughs> of year six, that our child will finally be out of bed and we'll be able to interact with them. Um, so in the meantime, I'm, I'm not sure if like there's any new dialogue with the people. Boy didn't seem to have any, but that might change tomorrow. Uh... I'm not sure if I can celebrate my child's birthday this year, but I could definitely check. Um, otherwise, the next celebration is going to be our anniversary. And that's going to be a lot more skipping, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll, I'll spare it for you guys. Hello, Sherry. I had a child. Can I say hi? How's life with Lloyd? If you ever need to talk about anything, just let me know. I just had a baby, Sherry. I had a baby with a person that you're potentially going to marry. Alright, seems like everyone's just like, hey, married life. But marriage is about loving your spouse no matter what. You can't let the little things bother you. Alright, yeah, seems like y'all marriage die. Like, maybe, maybe we have to, like, wait a day. <laughs> it has to, like, settle in people's minds that I have, that I have a baby. Alrighty, so... Yeah, we're gonna... Gonna pretty much be piecemealing this episode together, since there's a lot of... A lot of waiting involved. So I'm gonna make sure everyone's fed, but otherwise... Uh, let's see how we're gonna plan this. I'll check to see if um, we can celebrate our child's like first birth. No, it's <laughs> not the first birthday. It's, it's day zero. I don't, know. I don't think we can celebrate day zero. But I will check. Um, otherwise, otherwise the next events happen in fall. Anniversary, birthdays. Yeah, all our birthdays. All right. So yeah, I will be right back. Okie dokie, skipping ahead to fall day two. It's time for our first anniversary. Welcome home, Mel. Today is our anniversary. You remembered, right? I've got a meal prepared for us over here. Is it the same as the birthday meal? Looks the same as the birthday meal. <laughs> yeah, it is. Every day is a celebration in fall. What do you think? Not bad, right? It's our special day today, so let's enjoy this together. We, we went through a lot. Just over one year, Lloyd. We, like, we already have a kid and everything. Alrighty. The kid's not involved because obviously he can't move from that spot. Alright, today's was fun. Time to get to bed. And now, I guess we'll skip ahead again. <laughs> that, that, that took a quick minute. <laughs> today is also Lloyd's birthday. <laughs> I guess I'll give him a normal gift today. I'm not gonna make pie, Emma. <laughs> For me, a birthday gift. Thanks, I appreciate it. You made my day. 
You know, had to bake another another party cake though, Lloyd. Sorry. Um, okay, so we will skip ahead again. Uh, I'll check the birthdays. They're probably not gonna be different until my child is like out of bed. Uh, but I'll check them. Uh, if nothing else is that special, then yeah, I don't know what to say. We're just gonna have to skip ahead to like one or like year six. <laughs> Alrighty. I will be right back again. Okie dokie, skipping ahead to summer day eight. It's our child's first birthday. Let's see if we even celebrate it. Alright, we do! <laughs> yeah, this is like the only thing that's been different this like whole year. Like, our Milan's birthday has been the same, Loy's birthday has been the same, but I guess, uh, our kid's birthday, we still celebrate it even though he's bedridden. Welcome home, Mal. Today is Leafa's birthday. Let's celebrate. Alright, this is like the only time we get to celebrate while she's in the bed. <laughs> Our child is growing so fast. I think we can both be proud of the job we're doing as parents. And Leafa's just like goo goo gaga. We don't, we don't, like, give her a smash cake or something? <laughs> That'd be cute. Uh, there's no food today. Anyway, today was fun. It's late. We should get to bed. Alright, let's go to bed. Yeah, it's been a lot- it's, it's been a whole lot of nothing in the year, so... <laughs> Next! Uh, we will skip ahead a few more days. Like a week and a half, and our child will magically be older. All right, it's been 12 days after my child's first birthday. Good morning, did you sleep well? I want to show you something, Mel. Come here, Leafa. Our child's walking! Could you be at least a little bit more excited for it, Lloyd? You your parents are like, oh my god! What the heck was that sound? What came out of your mouth, Leafa? Uh, she has a little duck outfit. It's blue though, so there's no there's no difference between boy and girl uh, in terms of outfit. Good morning, Mom. Doesn't Leafa look more grown up now? <laughs> yeah, cosplaying as a duck. <laughs> now that Leafa is older, I thought we should get Leafa some new clothes. Instead of being just swaddled in a, in a blanket. <laughs> yeah, huh? I really like these. All right, well, I can't really blame you, girl. I, I wore some weird stuff as a kid, some onesies. I, I wore some like princess dresses, like just out in public, and my bro my brother was really embarrassed about it. I was like, mom well, was just like, eh, she's a baby. <laughs> like, why are you so, like embarrassed about it on her behalf? I'm glad you t that you like them. Alright, finally! We can, oh god, she's like right next to the dad. <laughs> Dada! Mom, let's play more! Are you mad at me? Dada! I... Don't know what to expect with that noise coming out of her. Alright, so now we're our... At the point where we're gonna be scrambling for her affection. Uh, her favorite gift is pudding. I think as she evolves into a child, she gains a preference for ice cream, but uh, at least both of those are, are fairly easy to obtain. Although I'm, I'm out of black chickens. <laughs> the silky chickens have all passed. They have gone into the other life. The farm in the sky. Uh, might have to buy some more to make some ice cream, but yeah, with pudding, we'll get 800 friendship points with her. Uh, and now we do need to get her up to and maintain 40,000 friendship in order to do, um, other family events, I believe. Uh, but yeah, now that she can walk, she can participate in other dinners, so we'll, we will see some slight variation. Um... Your family events now. Alright, should be easy. I'm like... 
I, I was hoping I could buy some, like, pudding from the springtime uh, Zephyr Cafe, but I wasn't very lucky about it, so... Yeah, I'm just, like, collecting eggs and milk one at a time for her. Uh, and there, there shouldn't be any other events other than family events with the toddler. It'll take an entire year, uh, for her to grow up again, so you will be able to see her birthday as a toddler, and then 12 days after that, um, Leafa will become a full-grown child. Alrighty. So, off-screen, I will be, uh, tossing gifts at Leafa to, like, just kind of maintain, maintain friendship, get her to max. Uh, and yeah, we think I think we need to get her to like 40,000, 50,000 for like another event as, as a grown-up. Uh, but yeah. I'll, I will double check to see if there's any toddler events. There's not any listed, but I know... I know one existed in Tale of Two Towns. Like, maybe there's a variation of that. I'm like kind of thinking... thinking of that. Alright, anywho. We will be right back and... Yeah, we will do... We will do family events. Toddler edition. Hey. Okie dokie. Here we are at fall day two. And during the evening we have enough affection with all our family members for our second anniversary with Lloyd. Welcome home, Mel. Today is our anniversary. You remembered, right? I'm waiting all day for this. I've got a meal prepared for us over here. Same food, but our toddler is old enough to stay awake for it. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad, right? It's our special day today, so let's enjoy this together. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, happy anniversary! Thank you, Leafa. No, oh, that's... A slight variation, but a variation nonetheless. Right, let's go to bed without saving. And the next event happens today. <laughs> this is uh, this is Lloyd's birthday. Good morning. I think uh, the dialogue for Leafa did change. She now loves me, so I'm I'm assuming she's at like sixty thousand, almost max, almost max friendship. So I probably don't even need to give her pudding anymore. Maybe I'll, I'll give her one on her own birthday. Uh, but yeah, otherwise... It didn't take too long to get her to get her up that high. She also likes to look at the pets too. They're like, oh, so, so cute. Alright, so I guess I will... I'll be right back. Be right back in a jiffy for, for the next dinner. Okie dokie. The cows have come home. And the cats are running in and out of the house. Let's celebrate another dinner. Welcome home, Mel. It's my birthday today. Let's celebrate. Please come over here. Cook it up so much stuff, Lloyd. Alright, our child is once again here. So, um, I was thinking. I wanted today to be special, so I cooked all this. Let's start eating before this all gets cold. Happy birthday! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> would have been nice if she, if she said, like, happy birthday, Lloyd. To kind of differentiate whose birthday it was, but yeah. L little difference again. Uh, okie doke, so we will skip ahead again to probably another birthday, unless something happens in between. The bazaar is today. No need, no need for that. Uh... Yeah, there's like no other events that involve the child except uh, my birthday next, so I will be right back in a jiffy. Okie dokie. All 20th. Let's celebrate yet again. Hi there, Mel. It's your birthday today. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Mel, I prepared something for you. 
I wanted to show you how much I appreciate you. So let's eat. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday! All right, that's probably the only difference in this scene. Ah, oh, little heart for for Leafa. All right, again, another very minor difference. I like it. I like how it's the same dialogue box. It could even like include like. I don't know, a code where it's like, insert name or insert, like, mommy or daddy. <laughs> Alright, well, it's late. I should get to bed. Let's go to bed. And, yeah, we'll get on to the next event, which will this time be a new event. Uh, because, yeah, I believe once our child can walk, they can participate in the pumpkin festival. So... I will be right back for that. Hey. Okie dokie. Yeah. We're on fall thirty first, the pumpkin festival. So let's enter our house between six to nine PM. And we'll get an additional visitor. <laughs> Not really a visitor, he's been living in our house the whole time. Pumpkin, what <laughs> I want candy. <laughs> Alright, so similar to how Kevin and Cindy and Lauren visit us earlier in the day, uh, once our child can walk, uh, we can give them a treat as well. Any treat will do, as long as it's a dessert. Yay, mom, thanks! Is that it? Just walks off screen? <laughs> Alright. Yummy! And just goes and gobbles it in the corner, okay. <laughs> The kid. Kids love their sweets. Alright. Kinda cute. I I do prefer um the DS slash cute version of it though, where you like you actually have an actual like dinner, like a little like a little meal with with some sweets. Kinda reminds me of like like Halloween like a like a mini Halloween party that you would have with like friends, uh, versus just like Pretend a trick or treating within your own house. Uh, also, would have been cute too to maybe have. I don't know, maybe just like a little scene of like taking the kid around to go trick or treating at other houses, not just isolated within this house. But all right, can't complain. <laughs> oh Lloyd, you weren't even involved in it. They like the other pumpkin festivals. Like the husband is like involved in it as well. All right, so. No more birthdays until until our well the toddler birthday is on summer eighth. But the next event on the calendar is Starry Night, which our kids should participate in unless they get thrown to bed early. Anywho, we will be right back in a jiffy. Hey, yeah. Alrighty, winter has descended upon us. Let us enjoy a starry night. Hi there, Mel. Today is the Starry Night Festival. I've got a surprise. Just trust me and take a seat. And our child's at the table. <laughs> Kid needs like a booster seat or something. The little duck bill is just over over the lip of the table. I cooked a meal for us. Surprised? <laughs> Good. I'm glad I made it. Let's dig in. So neat! I'm so happy! Yes, very neat. And that's it. Today was fun. It's late. I should get to bed. There's no no walking. No little late night walkies. Maybe for the child version? Alrighty. So, next event. I'm assuming... Assuming New Year's... <laughs> Assuming New Year's and Spring Thanksgiving is probably not going to be any different. Uh, otherwise, we are doing a ton of sleeping. <laughs> There's also a flower festival, but... Uh, it's like one line of dialogue. Uh, yeah, otherwise, there's no other events uh, with our child until our child's birthday itself. So... We'll skip ahead to that. And finally, we slept a summer day 8th. 
Our child's birthday. We'll give him a nice birthday present. Hello. Okay, you're tired, tired, Leafa. It's bedtime already, but you have to eat cake. Or pudding. Yay, pudding! Oh, you don't even respond for your birthday. Okay. Lame. Oh. <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd mentioned massage. You know, you know where that leads to. Kid number two. All right, let us celebrate our kid's second birthday. Welcome home, Mel. It's Leafa's birthday today, so I'm cooking something up. It's a smash cake, finally. A giant party cake. After all, it's a special day. I really put some effort in today. Let's dig in. Yay, thank you! Kid get, get, gets the whole cake, get a whole cavity. <laughs> Alright, today was fun, we should get to bed. Alright, we celebrated all we can with our toddler, so now we are skipping ahead 12 days past our child's birthday, December 20th. And we should... See them finally grow up to their final form. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, what's going on? Lloyd? Good morning, Mal. Where's the child? Leafa's getting bigger, so I bought Leafa some new clothes. Oh, did you import them? With your merchant skills? Come here, Leafa. No. <laughs> You're so cute. I do like the- the girl looks so much like- So much like the girl protagonist, like Milan. Good morning, Mom! She has uh, some alluring purple eyes as well. Um, looks nothing like Lloyd, though. <laughs> uh. I think Lloyd would be like, is this my child? <laughs> it's like, he has black hair, yet his child is blonde. It's like, one of the plot points to, to Game of Thrones. <laughs> Leafa helped pick out the outfit this time. So, do you like it, Mal? It's adorable! He's like a little fairy tale girl. Yay, new clothes! Woohoo! Don't get them dirty. <laughs> gonna go. Now you're old enough to play with the kids, though. I'm glad that they're a hit. And bam, we have a child who has a, has a new voice, a new voice giggle. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh boy. Sleep all day and toss pet food to my cats and dogs. All right, her, her uh, likes and dislikes do change a little bit. Instead of liking uh, pudding the best, I think her favorite gift pivots to ice cream, which it, it's kind of like pudding. It's just, just extra steps. Is this ice cream for me? Yay, thank you, Mom. And her schedule also changes a little bit, so um, the baby, the little toddler, Pretty much just like hung out outside your house for a little bit, like during sunny days. Uh, now Leafa can wander to the waterfall area, and then on bazaar day she'll go to the bazaar for like an in-game hour and then go back home. <laughs> so slight, slight difference. I don't think she pops up for festivals though, other than festivals that have a family dinner, like Starry Night or or the Pumpkin Festival. So. She's not gonna like pop up like in like future games where they actually kind of somewhat participate in festivals. Uh, there are some random events though with the grown-up child. I think we can activate one right away in the morning so that we can trigger it as long as our kid likes us enough between 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on a sunny day and she has 50,000 friendship points or more. There we go. <laughs> now that she's old enough. Hi, Mom! I want to go play! Come on, let's go! Please, Mom! <laughs> Leafa has been wanting to play with you. Yeah, let's go!
go play outside! Alright. <laughs> Yay, let's go then. I'm not sure about the little voice giggle. The voice giggle sounds- I don't know. It sounds like she needs to drink a little water. I don't know. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go race at the racetrack. Wee, come catch me! I'm gonna get ya. Oh, she's fast. You gotta let the kid win sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Milan should be able to outpace a, a child. Over here. Here, this. You know, we're gonna see like <laughs> you just chasing my daughter. Come on, Lloyd, get in on this. That was super fun! We can go home now! Alright, that scene was kind of reminiscent of, like, the picnic event, um, in, like, the other DS games. Although we don't have a choice of going to the beach or the forest, because there is no beach or forest. <laughs> so our only choice is, is racetrack. I guess it could, I guess it could be, like, waterfall area versus... Yeah, there's <laughs> not that many other options. <laughs> Yeah, it's so much fun. Uh, at least this way, it's like, not really... Can't really have a variant of the event, like the picnic one. Uh, there's also another one, um... As long as our kid also has 50,000 friendship points. We can activate this on Tuesday or Wednesday. And we also have to have enough friendship points. About 30,000 friendship points with Kevin, Cindy, and Lauren. Which, I think we have plenty. <laughs> I don't think it degraded that much. It should be... It should be satisfactory. And we should get another one around 10 a.m. at the racetrack. And yeah, we can trigger that on Tuesday or Wednesday. And luckily it's it's a Wednesday, so we can get it all in one day. There's Leafa, date of birth. Yeah, every, everyone's mostly friends with me. They might have, like, knocked down a heart or two, but... The kids are, kids are fine. She's like very cute though. You kind of have like a fondness for like other <laughs> other children who don't look like like basic protagonists. I like protagonists that that kind of like stray away from just like the standard like brown hair, brown eyed look too. But, like you got that in like every single game. Like every child, every protagonist looked the same. It was like kind of nice when they mix things up. Like, animal parade where you can have a kid with, like, pink hair <laughs> if you buried, like, Luna or something. Uh, or a wonderful life where your kid uh, is pretty much the spitting image of your wife. Alright, so I will probably just cut this out. It's gonna just be, like, two minutes. Two minutes of silence. I, I will I'll be right BRB in a sec. Alrighty, it's ten o'clock. Let's go to the racetrack. Wait for me, Mom! <laughs> it's like she's back. <laughs> Why are you getting mad at her? I want to go with you! I don't want to stay home! Take me! I mean, what else am I gonna do here? I didn't even bring my horse. <laughs> Yay, let's go! Nifa wants to play some more. Alright, we got the other children here. This is the children's disagreement scene. What's going on, everybody? Hey, perfect! Let's play Mayor. It's a fun game. <laughs> okay, this is just alternate version of House. Does Kevin get to be the mayor? I, I like how Kevin is, like, surrounded by girls, too. Like, in, in this town, he has, like, a harem. I guess if I had a boy child... You look very much like Kevin, uh, but it would be kind of even, <laughs> like, two, two boys, two girls, but now, now Kevin feels a little bit outnumbered here. These guys don't want to play. Whatever. Playing house is way more fun. Yeah! You should ignore him and come play with us. We'll have more fun! Come on, girl! Come on, girls! <laughs> Just go team up against him! <laughs> go against Kevin! Make make our own house! We'll say no Kevin's allowed! Uh. No! Nephi is playing with me! 
And now Leafa is playing with us. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight over the new girl. <sighs> Come on, everybody. Can't we all just play along? I'm just being the, the bigger girl here. Fine, fine. We can all play. I guess that's more fun than arguing anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll have more fun playing together. I can all play chase. <laughs> Which should we play? Oh, Mom, it's okay if I stay and play, right? I don't feel bad if I tell you to go home. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Mom says it's time to go home. Okay, let's play again soon. Yeah, that was fun, Leafa. Bye-bye! <laughs> that was a cute little get-together with the kids. I would like to see more scenes like that. But unfortunately, that is the only other scene that we get with our child. <laughs> uh, no other one-on-ones, but yeah. I, mean, I wish they did a little bit more with the kid. We get a little bit. Um, yeah, just like a little bit of like fun events, uh, but otherwise, yeah, after this is just like birthday dinners and anniversary dinners. <laughs> so yeah, how about we, we, let's, let's commence the, the dinner medley and yeah, wrap things up. All right, BRB is sick. All right, fall day two. We have yet another anniversary with Lloyd. Welcome home, Mel. Today is our anniversary. You remembered, right? I've got a meal prepared for us over here. It did, uh... Maybe Leafa helped us... <laughs> helped us stir stuff. I bet you'd have a lot of fun, like, baking the cake and, like, icing it and sticking the berries on top. What do you think? Not bad, right? It's our special day today, so let's enjoy this together. <laughs> it's your anniversary! Congratulations! Thank you, Leafa. Acknowledge this special day when we unionize together. Alright, let's go to bed. And we have another event back to back with our anniversary. Be right back at 8 p.m. Hey, yeah. Alright, Lloyd, get cooking. Welcome home, Mel. It's my birthday today, so let's celebrate. Please come over here. Poor Lloyd, slaving over a hot stove. Where you get fat on all this party cake? <laughs> so, um, I was thinking. I wanted today to be special, so I cooked all this. Let's start eating before this all gets cold. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Doesn't specify whose birthday, but it's Lloyd's. Alright, another fun birthday variation. <laughs> with child. All right, let's skip ahead uh, to the next one. Hey, yeah. All right, fall day 20th. Let's go inside for Milan's birthday this time. Hi there, Mel. It's your birthday today. Why don't you come over here? Mel, I prepared something for you. I wanted to show you how much I appreciate you. Let's eat. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom! Oh, you said Mom, okay. Thumbs up, you, you, added, you added a new word there, Leafa. Alright, so that was Milan's birthday variant with grown-up child. So, let's move on to the next event. We have 
more food to eat. Hey, yeah. Moving on to fall day 31. It's the day of the pumpkin festival. Let's enter our house between 6 to 9 p.m. And let's get accosted by our child. What do you want, child? Hey, today's the pumpkin festival, right? You know what I want? A treat! All right. You have a treat for me, right? Oh, hold on. <laughs> if you say you don't have anything, she'll have a tantrum. You won't lose any friendship, but you will get a little upset. All right, so we'll give her some ice cream. You can give her any dessert, but I just happen to have ice cream. Here you go. Thanks. I love you, Mom. All right. Okay, she's going to go to the side again. Are you, are, you gonna, are you gonna eat that ice cream like out of view? <laughs> like taking it to like some corner of the house, like some animal. You're like my precious, you, you will not take away my precious. <laughs> All right, well that was the pumpkin festival child edition. Not much different from the toddler edition. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we will move on to the next event. And fast forwarding to winter 24, where we enjoy a starry night. Hi there, Mal. Today is the Starry Night Festival. I've got a surprise. Just trust me and take a seat. Alright, and our child is all grown up at the table. I cooked a meal for us. Surprised? <laughs> Good. I'm glad I made it. Let's dig in. <laughs> There's so much food! How wonderful! And you get stuffed, girl. Alright, no variation. Alright, so that was Starry Night with Adult Child. I was kind of hoping in the back of my head that there was going to be like a different variation of that. <laughs> but I mean, I remember the other versions, previous versions, where we like go out to the Harvest Goddess Pond or something, but I guess there is no Harvest Goddess Pond that we can go to. Alright, so another, another repeat event. We have one more family event to do, so let us fast forward to that. And we've finally gone full circle. All right, it is summer day eight. It is Leafa's third birthday. <laughs> First birthday as a full-grown child. Here you go, Leafa. Are you done with work? Then let's play. Give me a birthday present. Is this ice cream for me? Yay, thank you, Mom. Okay, you don't really respond to that either as a birthday gift. All right, so let's celebrate. Let's celebrate her birthday. Welcome home, Mel. It's Leafa's birthday today, so I'm cooking something up. That was fast. You set the table really fast. I was in here just a second ago. <laughs> After all, it's a special day. I really put some effort in today. Let's dig in. It looks great. Thank you, Mom and Dad. a nice, grateful child. Alright, that's it! <laughs> Very similar to the other versions. Let's go to bed. And, yeah, that's the final family event. Kinda... Kinda ends off at a whimper. <laughs> that, that, that's a problem with a lot of Harvest Moon games, though. Like, uh... Like, the character development is, like, really good at the beginning with the heart events. Um, and then you get married and like, and then the dialogue just kind of fizzles out from there. There's like no further character development. And then like the developers just kind of forget about your child or just put in like the bare minimum effort. And yeah, that was a problem with a lot of Harvest Moon games. It's a problem in this one. Uh, there are other games that do it better. Like A Wonderful Life. Even Animal Parade had a little bit more interaction because you can have your child do chores and get better at chores and you can like show your kid to other kids and 
<laughs> well, you show your kid to other like NPCs, and then, and then they grow up, and then you get little scenes of them like interacting, like with the other kids. Uh, but yeah, Grand Bazaar, not my favorite, but it had some like good points. Um, I'm kind of I'm glad that they got rid of the the sun point system that was an island of happiness, Lost Sunshine Island. Although they could have improved it. I feel like they could have improved it by giving like a magnifying glass like a tool kind of like how they have in modern rune factory games or you can where you can see like how many water and like sun points you have <laughs> like considering there is like no indicator um, other than if you just kept like a separate notebook for that for, for like a portable game you shouldn't be having like a separate notebook <laughs> like it's it's like less portable, like you're carrying more things. You should be carrying less things. Uh, but yeah, the bazaar was was nice being able to sell stuff like through our own stall. They kind of had that concept in other Harvest Moon games, but it was like really much more fleshed out in this one. Like in, instead of like a shipping bin. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot lacking. <laughs> there's like no mining. I guess there was some crafting, but it wasn't very interactive. Like, a lot of stuff wasn't interactive. It was just like, shove in, shove in windmill, and then sit on your hands for a bit. Uh, but the characters are really cute. Um, there weren't really a lot of incentives to make a lot of money, other than to upgrade your bazaar. Uh, there's like no house upgrades, so... I mean, you could keep crafting, farming, making money for the sake of making money and, like, breaking records. Uh, but otherwise, there's, like, not too many incentives <laughs> to just, like, keep farming. If, if there was, like, an easier way. Uh, but yeah. So, that ends off Grand Bazaar. I'm sorry, like, a lot of it was just, like, a, a lot of repeat events, but that's kind of how it goes with the family events. Um, and then, yeah. As for... The next thing I want to do... Oh, right, I gotta, like... It kind of ties in with, like, what I want to do next, but it's kind of, like, in the future. Uh, so sorry if, like, you don't want to be called out for this, but I gotta thank Skitscat for for gifting me the player's guide to Rune Factory 1. Um, she didn't have to do that. Like, I know, I know she has, like, going through... A lot of hard times, but she gave me like this really nice gift that's like tailored to my interests. So <laughs> I I will be using the player's guide to Rune Factory One, uh, and getting ready for the next LP. Uh, I probably won't play that like next LP, but like maybe next next or next 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 LP. <laughs> and then she also gave me a bunch of other goodies too, like the chip squeak plush I was like talking about before and. They gave me flipping bait and kaitos, like both the games on the GameCube. I'm like, what? What? That's like retro. <laughs> like GameCube, like those games are considered retro now and like really hard to find and like really expensive. So like, oh my god. I, like I was kind of surprised to get that. Um. And as for my next LP, I do have it planned. Um. Like I was kind of in the mood for a certain game, so. Two, our last LP was Tides of Destiny. Um, that had like an ocean theme going for it. And then this game, Grand Bazaar, kind of had uh, more of like a wind type theme. I kind of wanted to keep going with that theme. So yeah, I'm going to have a game that that uh, has a ocean and wind theme. So you guys can probably guess what that is. <laughs> it's pr it probably gave you a big, a big hit. For that, uh, but anywho, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not sure when the next Harvest Moon LP is gonna be though. Uh, we still have we still have a lot of games we could do. We are almost done with all the DS titles. We still have Sunshine Islands that I want to do. Um, playing as a girl protagonist, um, and then. Like, we can also look to the future towards 3DS titles. New Beginning was fun, but it's very grindy. Uh, but maybe I can, like, grind through and play through that again and do cutscenes for that. Because I know 
that game also suffers from like lacking YouTube cutscenes. <laughs> like they're very they're very old old quality or like phone like record on your phone quality. Because back then, not a lot of people had 3DS capture cards, and not a lot of people have 3DS capture cards now. So that's in the books. Uh, but yeah. But like, I don't know what Harvest Moon game you guys want to do next. Like, I'm kind of looking at like maybe maybe completing like the DS era, or going to the 3DS era. There's still like games of the past though. I could do like 64, or Back to Nature. I really want to play Hero of Leaf Valley too, but I gotta get like an emulated version of that. I don't have I don't have the original game anymore. Someone stole my PSP and that game with it. Uh, but yeah, um, I have my next LP planned and. Rune Factory, still a twinkle in my eye, but planning for that as well. So, anywho, thank you guys for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next LP. Uh, bye bye.